cancer-fighting sponges, porn extortion, and Facebook's new dislike button. I'm Gabriella. Welcome to Geek Beat. Hey, guess what? Facebook is getting a dislike button. Here's what Zuck had to say about it. People aren't looking for an ability to downvote other people's posts. What they really want is to be able to express empathy. Um, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but I don't think that's what John P. is going to use the dislike button for. Speaking of dislike, you know that pesky global warming problem? Well, it turns out sea levels have risen 8 inches since 1870, and the rate of rise has doubled over the past few decades. Scientists over at NASA are a little worried about that, so they've done some research, and it turns out that by the end of the century, about two-thirds of their infrastructure, including the Kennedy Space Center, the Ames Research Center, and the Johnson Space Center, could be underwater. Oh, there's no more to that story. Sorry if you were waiting for the good news. If you're a fan of helicopters, you might just dig DARPA's newest project. It's a set of robotic legs that basically allow choppers to land on any kind of terrain. Fixed landing gear on existing helicopters makes for tricky landings on moving platforms like ships or uneven surfaces like mountaintops. But these new self-leveling legs just spread out like an insect and let the vehicle land anywhere it damn well pleases. Hey, are you a fan of smog? If so, or even if you're not, you can head on over and support the Smog Free Tower on Kickstarter and they'll send you a little cube full of smog. Well, actually, it's the smog cleaned out of the air by this super neat contraption that filters the air and then traps the particulate matter in a crystal clear cube so you can just, I, I don't know, put it on a shelf and look at it? Or maybe freeze it and then use it in a drink like an ice cube? The Smog Free Tower is actually a fantastic idea and I hope they proliferate and spread around the globe. This might not be the answer to pollution, but it sure is a neat way to raise awareness. If you are super into porn, and I mean really into it, like you even need an app on your phone just so you can get some porn anywhere you go, well, you might just want to avoid loading any porn apps that don't come from the Google Play Store. An app called Adult Player has been secretly taking photos of users while they are using the app and then blackmailing people by demanding money to prevent the release of those incriminating photos. The app has to be downloaded and installed outside of the official Android App Store, so that should be a huge warning sign. But apparently it isn't stopping some people. So be careful out there, it's a dirty, dirty interweb, and you have to use protection. And finally, here's some encouraging news to end with. Professor Lonnie Shea from the Department of Biomedical Engineering at the University of Michigan just released a study that used biodegradable implants to track cancer cells from spreading. In the study, scientists inserted little 5 millimeter implants that look like mini sponges to try and identify cancer cells floating around in the body. But they unexpectedly found that the little sponges were actually capturing cancer cells and preventing them from spreading. The little sponges also attracted the body's natural antibodies. So when the cancer cells got trapped, it was a double whammy because the antibodies were able to chow down. Who knows? Maybe one day a diagnosis of cancer will be something that can be treated by any old doctor or pharmacy with a shot of cancer sponges. Well, that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and also share the episode with your friends. We love making them and we love it when new people subscribe for more. I'm Gabriella. see you next time.